Hey everybody, welcome to this iOS development tutorial. This will be a quick tip that shows you how you can set an image to be the title of your view controller. Uh, the key item to note here is that for this particular set of code that I'm about to show you to work, you're going to need a UI navigation controller. That's what I've got on screen and then I am setting the first view controller that I'm loading into that navigation controller. I'm setting its title or rather its title view to be this particular image or image view. So let's see how that is done. I am going to fire up Xcode and create a new project and we will select um, the simplest of the templates or at least one of the simplest and that's going to be our single view application. Hit next and I will just call this something like header image and I will set it to iPhone in terms of the device and set use ARC. Um, I'll check that box. Hit next, save it to my desktop, hit create and let Xcode create that project. It's going to probably take it a couple seconds to index these files. And while it's doing the indexing, I also wanted to point out that you're, of course, going to need an image um, to follow this tutorial. I am using YouTube's, um, I, I went to YouTube's branding page and just downloaded their logo. You can use a similar file. Ideally, you want a file uh, that is a PNG file and has alpha transparency on it, which means it has no background. That way, you can layer it really nicely on your UI navigation controller. Right, so our first step will be to go to the app delegate um, and the reason we have to do this is because we are starting with the simplistic template uh, which is a single view application and we have to create or instantiate a UI navigation controller. So what I will do is make some room here right after uh, we've instantiated view controller or um, our view controller file and I'm just going to say something like UI navigation controller I'll call it nav controller and pretty simple call I'm just gonna say UI navigation controller if I can type here do an alloc and an init with root view controller on it and we are going to set this particular view controller parameter to be the same as self dot view controller right so that's the view controller we actually already have in our uh, project file and one last step here is we have to set the root view controller to be our nav controller our instance so we'll just set it to nav controller too many R's there and there we go the command has to make sure we save our work next we're gonna jump into the view controllers implementation file and we've got some code we need to add to our view to load method here but I suppose this is a good time as any to actually add the image file so let's click I'm going to just right click on my supporting files go down to add files to header image which is the name of my project and then I'm going to locate the file that I want to add which I've already downloaded it's the YouTube logo and I'm just gonna say um, add um, and also make sure that you've got the destination copy items into destination groups folder if needed that way it gets added to the actual project so there it is so we've got our file there uh, so we know we're good so let's jump back to our view controllers implementation file again in our view did load method couple different things that we need to do our first step is that we need to create a UI image to hold our actual image file so let's say we'll just call it so let's say the logo image so this will be a UI image we're going to call this say logo image I like the names to be pretty descriptive and then we're going to call a class method called UI image image named and then we are going to specify the name of our file which is youtube.png so that's our first step next we need to create a UI image view that will be then set to our navigation items title view so let's create a UI image view and we are going to say UI image this is where I get into trouble sometimes start typing okay here we go UI image view we're gonna call this logo let's just call it logo view so it's clear and um, what we'll do is we'll say UI image image view alloc 
and then I'm going to say init with frame and I'm going to set this to a CG rec value which I don't have so I'm just going to do a CG rec make there it is and we're going to need to pass in some parameters to this particular method so I've already figured out uh, based on the size of the YouTube logo what some of these values need to be uh, I'm going to set the first one first parameter to be just 0, 0.0 f second one also 0.0, .0 third one we're going to set to 55.0 and um, last one I believe I want to set it to 35.0 and there we go alright so we get two warnings that's not a problem it's simply because we haven't used either of these objects yet next up we're going to say logo view dot content mode and what we're going to do here is set this to a value called UI view. There's a couple different options for us. I'm going to set it to UI view content uh, mode scale aspect fit. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the logo, squish it down so it fits within the space that we've defined for it. Then all we have to do is do um, call our logo view and set its image. So we say set image, and we've got an image, a UI image that we can use. It's just logo image. That's done. And then last step is we need to do a self dot navigation item and set its title view to be our UI image view, which is called logo view. And there we are. Command S to save. That's all it's going to take. Let's hit Command R, and we should have our project. Um, show up in the simulator in just one second here uh, with uh, the YouTube logo in our view controllers title view almost up and there we are so we've got a nice um, UI navigation controller and you're gonna see a lot of apps these days have this in fact the YouTube app works the same way if you look at their first view controller it is their logo and then all the subsequent views when you tap on a video you know, uh, revert back to where it's either the title of the video or something else. So I hope this is helpful and I um, hope you are able to incorporate this in some of your projects. Thanks for watching.